This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and joining me right now is Jennifer McCarran. She is the CEO of Thunderbird Entertainment. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, TBRD on the TSX Venture and THBRF on the OTCQX. Jennifer, it's great to have you back. How are you doing? It's great to be here, Robert. Thank you so much. It's awesome, as always, to see you again. It's awesome to see you, too. And, and for those listening right now, be sure to check out Thunderbird at our upcoming event, the SNN Network Canada virtual event, where Jennifer will not only be giving a presentation on Thunderbird, she will also be featured on an entertainment panel moderated by David McFadgen from Cormark Security. So we're very excited for that. But for the task at hand today, you know, we last we last had you on uh, on the program uh, back in August. We published that interview on August 18th. So love to get an update. You know, what's been going on at Thunderbird since then or some of the highlights. A lot you put out a lot of news since then. So some of the highlights. Absolutely. No, we've had um, it's been a great year. We had our year end um, announced in October. Um, you know, our um, revenue was up over 40 percent. Our EBITDA up over 25 percent. Um, continuing to grow. Uh, we've had last kids on earth. Our, um, you know, IP show on Netflix has been streaming in the top 10 of all shows in Netflix, not just kids and family. Um, you know, our, our work continues to explode. We just had our uh, Q1 results. Uh, we've increased production Q1 this year over Q1 last year. Uh, when you look at the company's bids, our leadership team took a look at what was happening January to October 2019 versus January to October 2020, and the volume of work has tripled. Um, and none of this has even been recognized in the results yet. We'll start to see that towards the end of 21 and uh, 22. Uh, we've got our last Kids on Earth video game coming out. Um, we've made a ton of announcements around new IP, and we've got some exciting announcements coming up in January um, around further expansion into new divisions, which I can't wait to share with you. Very cool. Well, we'll get to that in a second. So, you know, I, I for this interview, I, I'd like to think of this as kind of like a year end type interview where we have a chance to reflect and review, you know, so uh, as we said, even just from August to now, the company's come out with a lot of news and, you know, going into 2020, I mean, look, COVID notwithstanding, you know, that altered plans a lot of course, but I'd love to know from your perspective, you know, with all the, the, the news the company has put out this year and the highlights and some of the milestones, I mean, were these some of the goals that Thunderbird set out to accomplish in 2020 or did some of that or some things happen that you didn't even expect? Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> when I look at uh, March, um, which was for the whole world when everything changed, um, so grateful to the uh, IT and pipeline teams that got all almost 1,000 employees offsite in Los Angeles, Vancouver, and Ottawa safely. Um, not only did the company not miss a beat, we nailed our, all our deliveries and it further um, increased the trust with all of our partners um, that we were able to execute, not miss on any deliveries. Um, and I'm so proud of all the teams, how hard everyone's been working to make this new offsite model work, which I think of interest will forever change the way we do business going forward, you know, we, we actually managed to sublease our head office, um, further optimizing our, our workflows in that we will probably never have a situation where we get in a box five days a week, drive to a box, get back in the box. Um, really, all of our surveys are showing us that people want a permanent work from home slash time in the office hybrid forevermore. And so I think that's been a really interesting development. Um, it allows us also to increase work because we managed to get offsite successfully and you know do it within all the security protocols that people like our partners like Disney hold us to. Um, we no longer have to think of capacity by the building. Um, whereas before we used to think, okay, we've got 700 people. Now, if there's you know a show that we like and we wanna do and it makes sense, we can do that because we can work virtually so successfully. It's been great for our company because factual and animation, which are the two main drivers, have also been the key co-viewing strategy for most of the streamers, which is essentially families stuck at home watching content. And that's what has glued them. So it's only sort of increased um, interest in the type of work we do. Also because the type of work we do could happen virtually. It's a little different, as you know, than scripted trying to get 200 people on a film set. Um, we could do it in a COVID safe way. 
the other interesting and amazing part of 2020 has been the increased focus on diversity and inclusivity, um, which our company um, holds near and dear as part of our culture. And um, we've had a lot of great success in that area. And um, not only is it the right thing to do to try and create content where everybody can see themselves positively reflected back, but it's also been really good for business. And, and the teams at Thunderbird have always been leaders in that area. Very good. So, you know, my, my next question then is, you know, I think everybody who follows the media space is all pretty well aware that it's, especially right now in times of COVID, you know, I mean, I'm in LA, we're in a stay at home order. We're all trying to figure out the next show to watch and this and that, you know, with kids, figure out the next kids show to watch. I mean, so I think everybody could probably wrap their head around what some of the, uh, some of the, the tailwinds are for the industry and how there's just this huge desire from all the different streaming services for more and more content. But, you know, from your perspective, when just kind of looking at the full picture, just to give everybody that idea of what's going on, you know, what would you say then are some of the headwinds? that uh, you you see and and how are you trying to mit mitigate some of that risk? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's really never been a better time to be creating content. It was great just leading into 2020 prior to COVID uh, with all of the new players coming into the marketplace, Disney Plus, Apple, HBO Max, um, you know, all of these uh, companies are not startups. <laughs> So they're going to be here for a while. And um, and the nature of how we view content is forever changing. Uh, uh, everyone's seen the, the recent announcements and, you know, around theaters and the increase uh, for watching movies at home. Um, it's, it's really ever changing. And in terms of headwinds, um, not much. I mean, the, the, it's a very blue sky situation. It was great before the pandemic in terms of all the new buyers and places to stream content. And now, because especially at Thunderbird, we create content that has been able to work virtually. We're in a really unique, and I'm incredibly grateful that we are in this somewhat pandemic resistant sector. Very good. So uh, from there, my last question for you, and this is something that I asked you back in August uh, of this year, uh, and it has to do with value catalysts. Um, so you know, from that interview, I mean, are there any additional value catalysts that, uh, from what you can tell us, that uh, you're looking forward to from the company for, uh, maybe not so much for the rest of this year, we're pretty much already done, but going into 2021 at least? Absolutely. If we just look at the news, which we can address, uh, Netflix, Disney announcing that they're increasing focus on um, animated features. Uh, you know, people aren't going to, unfortunately, theaters as much anymore. And People are staying home. One thing families love to do and gather and watch is an animated feature. So I think you can see some announcements around that. It's a great business model to create your own feature. Um, we've got some amazing partnerships that I can't wait to tell you about. Uh, I think also you can look at um, the announcements of people like Netflix and Disney and uh, going to Southeast Asia and Europe to increase their subscription base. Uh, certainly all of the streamers are judged, they're, you know, held accountable. Um, their value is by the number of subscribers. And as things start to tap out within North America, they need to expand internationally. For our company, we're uniquely positioned to follow that suit, um, expand our presence internationally and go where the streamers are going and, and help to um, leverage and work with studios abroad um, to have their own IP recognized. Uh, so there's a, good, a lot of excitement there. And just in continuing to increase our ownership in IP um, that can be leveraged into many different um, ancillary business streams like toys, video games, mobile games, microtransactional games, bed sheets, ice skating shows, you name it. So uh, there's, there's a lot of opportunity coming up. Well, with that, Jennifer, love to get uh, where our audience can go and find everything they need to know to follow along the Thunderbird story. Uh, so what, what's your website? Uh, we're just uh, thunderbird.tv. So check us out. We've also got the two divisions, Atomic Cartoons, Great Pacific Media. Those are our two main drivers. Each have their own website. Uh, please look us up. Our, our focus is on the people because we are nothing without the amazing people and incredible talent working here. And um, I'm really, we've recently updated our website. So it's, it's a good, it's a good read. <laughs>
Very good. All right. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And uh, I look forward to our next update. Yeah, I can't wait for the panel. And thank you again, Robert, for your continued interest in Thunderbird. I love speaking with you. Uh, thank you.